Pockets. Are you ready to learn the story of your name? Hi everyone, Miss Brooke here at the San Diego Children's Discovery Museum in Escondido, California, where we spark a love of learning so all children can discover their wildest dreams. This month, we're celebrating Women's History Month by learning about different women in the arts. Today, we're going to be talking about children's author and illustrator, Juana Martinez Neal. Have you heard the words author and illustrator before? An author is someone who writes books, while an illustrator is someone who draws the pictures for them. There are lots of different stories authors and illustrators can tell with their words and pictures in lots of different styles. Now that we know what an author and illustrator do, let's talk about Juana Martinez Neal. Juana Martinez Neal grew up in Lima, Peru. Throughout her childhood, she was inspired by her father and grandfather, who were both painters. She hoped to one day become a painter too, just like them. When Juana was an adult, she moved to the United States. After having children of her own, she realized that her love of painting and art could be used to illustrate books for children. Juana has written and illustrated over a dozen children's books and has many awards for her work. She writes books in both English and Spanish, and often tells stories of people from a variety of places and cultures. In her book, Alma and How She Got Her Name, Juana writes and illustrates a story about a young girl named Alma, or rather, a young girl named Alma Sofia Esperanza Jose Pura Candela. Alma begins the story frustrated with her long name. My name is so long, Daddy. It never fits, she tells her father. Alma's father then takes her through each of the names, telling her about who she was named after and what made them special. Her grandmother, Sophia, loved books and flowers and taught Alma's father to read. Her grandfather, Jose, was an artist and loved to paint just like Alma does. Her grandmother, Candela, always stood up for what is right. Alma's father then tells her that he picked the name Alma just for her, so she can make her very own story. What a beautiful story. Names represent the families and cultures that we come from and are a great way to learn about ourselves and one another. So, as inspired by Juana Martinez Neal and her work, let's make our very own story about our name by drawing some illustrations. For this project, you will need white paper, a regular pencil, and some colored pencils. First, you'll want to ask your grown-up about the story of your name. Where does it come from? Were you named after anybody? My first name is Brooke, which just like Alma, is the first in my family. In nature, a brook is a small stream. I'm sketching a brook on my paper, which not only represents my name, but also my appreciation for nature. Next, I'll add a bit of color with my colored pencils like I've done here. My middle name is Anita. I was named after my grandmother. She was raised by her parents, who were originally from a city in Northern Italy called Parma. My grandmother had lots of unique traits and talents. She was an amazing artist and painted lots of pictures that still hang in our family's homes today. She was a wonderful friend and always showed her care for the people in her life. She also loved to cook. Her favorite thing to make was spaghetti with meat sauce, a family recipe that my mom cooked for me growing up. There we have it, the story of my name. What did you learn about and draw for yours? What beautiful work today, friends. I had so much fun learning all about the story of our names together and making our very own illustrations. Keep exploring and asking questions to learn more about your name and the meanings behind them. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to like and subscribe for more content. And for more museum fun, check us out on our social media and website. Well, until next time, I'm Miss Brooke. See ya!